Greetings, family. It's your boy, the minister, the reverend, Jay Whitfield Inspires, coming back at you once again with another video. As y'all can see, I'm just outside um, today. I just feel like coming outside, man. It looks like we're about to be back in quarantine. So I've really been in the house all week, man. I just want to come out here and get some grounding, you know, get some vitamin D in my system. Maybe among the elements, because I'm an earth sign. I'm a Virgo, and I like to be out here. And uh, so y'all know how I like to do it. I want to thank everybody for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. We're growing, we're growing, we're growing. We're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. And I just appreciate y'all. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified I, uh, when I go live and when I drop another video. And also, if you need to do a private session with me, you already know what to do. Click the link in the description, set up a time. We can make that happen. So yeah, I'm outside. But I'm going to take these glasses off so y'all can see my face. It's not too, too bright out here. I think that feels better. Uh, yes, yeah, so today, um, very quickly, I, I want to talk about... Um, and forgive me if, if the sound and the wind is happening. I, my apologies because, uh, you know, I don't got no mic. So my apologies up front. But anyway, I uh, want to talk about uh, Virgo men and their commitment issues. And then when they're ready to commit, are they ready to commit? Do they want to commit? I did videos on this previously, like doing live videos, but I never like honed in specifically on this topic. I talked about it here and there. So I just want to specifically talk about this topic. Um, Virgo men and commitment. Do they want to commit? Are they ready to commit? Are they afraid to commit? What's the deal? What is the deal? So let's get into it. So the first thing about Virgo men and commitment, yes, they do want to commit to someone. You know, um, they want to commit to someone. They want to commit to someone special. They don't want to commit to just anybody. This is why it's so hard to lock Virgo men down. This is why it's so hard to get to them to commit. This and along with all the other things I'm going to lay out. Uh, it could be one of these things, or it could be all of these things, or it could be none of these things. Y'all know I'm just speaking in generalizations. So, uh, yeah, so the first thing is um, they, they, they want to commit. They do. They just want to commit to someone special. Uh, so they have to take that time to vet this person. Like I said in my other previous videos, Virgo men have to vet a woman that they're talking to, the woman that they're interested in. You could be, like, the best thing on earth to him, but he still has to take his time to vet you, you know, to see are you worthy of you know his love and his time and his commitment because Virgo take Virgo men take commitment extremely serious because we don't jump in and out of relationships we don't do that you know when we with we something we with it we want to get it something we want to hold on to it because we view we view relationships as sacred relationships friendships um, partnerships everything that has to do with attaching to us we view it we view it as sacred most Virgo, if they have friends, you'll see that they'll have those same friends for years and years and years. And like I said in my other video, this is why you'll find a lot of Virgo men being single uh, for a very long time. Some up into their 40s, man. You know, really. It's, it's, cra it's crazy. But, you know, it's just that they take their time. And they it doesn't bother them as much as it bothers other people. But no doubt they want to find a woman that they can settle down with, have kids with, build and grow. But they'll wait. You know, Virgo will wait. They'll wait. You know, but you know what's funny? At the same time, Virgo men, they do be lonely. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's, it's a weird dynamic. But yeah, um, they definitely will commit. They want to commit. They just want to commit to a special person. The next thing, like I was saying, I'm going to go back right into it. They, they have to vet you. They have to vet. They have to see what you're about. They have to see your background. They have to be around the people you be around. They got to go out with you. They have to understand your mindset. Uh, they have to see the thing that you've done. They have to interact with you. They have to talk to you. They have to see your family, you know. Uh, do you have mother issues? Do you have father issues? You know what I'm saying? Do you have ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend issues? Do you have baby daddy issues? Well, I mean, what, whatever the case may be, they just want to know. They want to know what they are dealing with. They want to know who is this woman that I'm connecting my life to long term. Because we have to know that. Because you don't want to jump into something, next thing you know, you're stuck. You know? And can we, regardless of the issues that you have, can we move past these issues and build a future together? Because we all have issues. Don't get it twisted. Virgo man, we even though we're picky, we are understanding that we all have issues. We are we life happens. So, but he wanna know these things and you have to be honest with him about whatever your issues are. You know, so you have to be honest about those, you have to be upfront about those and be real. Okay, we're getting a little win. But anyway, you have to be honest and upfront about these issues because they are very important to him. He can accept if you have issues, but he can't accept if you have if you have issues and you're lying about them and you're not being upfront about him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's gonna be like, you know what? She's not upfront with me, and I can't commit to that because that's mean when something really, something big really happens, she's not gonna be real with me, and I and I can't, I can't rock with that. That's what regular thing. Um, the next thing is that 
a lot of reasons why Virgo men have commitment issues. Some some of them, not all, uh, are getting over past relationships and past issues that they have personally. It, it's not only relationships. It may be just things that they've been through in life. You know, maybe like some type of something didn't work out that was significant, some type of problems in their families. And um, they want to work these things out before they get with a woman. Now, some of them, they may think they have it worked out, and once they get with the woman, they find out very quickly that they don't have it worked out. I've been there before, and y'all heard me talk about this, that um, I went through some things, and I got over it, and I, I started to get into another relationship. And then when I, once I got into that relationship, I, I quickly realized that I wasn't ready. I wasn't over my problems and my issues. Yeah, so I, I had to realize I wasn't over those things, and I had to back up out of it because what I was going to do, I was going to just end up hurting her. Even though she didn't understand that the problem at the time, but I understood. I tried my best to explain to her what was going on, but... You know, it's hard to explain to somebody that you don't want to be with them because of your own issues when they like you. You know, I won't try to be mean, but that's what happened, you know. So a lot of it could be his own problem and issue. Virgo men have a lot of issues, you know what I'm saying? But we like to work on our issues alone. Virgo men appear mostly, they, they appear perfect, but they got many, many issues, as some of the ladies will tell you in the chat or in the, in the comments, you know. But what we do is we just handle our issues alone. We handle them internally. We don't really put out issues on other people. You know, we just deal with them. And people find out, like, why well, I know you're dealing with all this, you know? Yeah. Uh, another reason um, they have problems with committing. I wouldn't even say problems with committing, but issues with committing is because they have to build trust with you. It takes time for a regular man to build trust with you. It takes time for them to, to grow with you and... Um, they, like I said earlier, they have to see who you are. You just have to see who you are. And this trust is going to take time. You're going to you're gonna have to build with him. You have to grow with him. He just got to see who you are. You know, he got to rock with you and roll with you. Because Virgo men don't trust nobody. And it takes a while. But the, the even though it takes a while, and a lot of ladies get aggravated about this, this is the best route, though. Don't speed this up. Because that trust he builds with you, that bond he builds with you, is going to last probably forever. Once it's there, it's there. It's solid as rock. Like, Virgo men don't build trust on shaky foundation. You know, this is why we take our time, because we build slowly. You know, y'all heard me say this before. We It's like a uh, like a potluck or a stew or a gumbo. You know what I'm saying? We, we put the greetings in one by one, and we build it, and we build it, and we build it. And thing. you know, you have a beautiful recipe. You have a beautiful, you know, it's like slow-cooked love. Y'all hear me talk about it. It's slow-cooked love. Um, that's how Virgo men are. It's slow-cooked love, and it's very uh, tailored towards you. So even though... It's gonna test your patience. It's good for you. You know, good things come to those who wait. Cause this is how Virgo men are. You know, this this is a process you gotta go through. You waiting, but you're gonna get a very, very good and tailored love. And he will commit, cause once we are committed, we are committed. You know, ain't no jumping back and forth. You know, ain't no, I wanna go see what this girl is about, that girl is about. You know, once we locked in, we locked in. Cause there, there's no reason. You know, of course you have Virgo men that's out there that's, that cheat, that, do all these other things, you know what I'm saying? They still human. But the vast majority of them are not like this. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say I don't speak in absolutes. You know, the vast majority are not like this. Like once they commit, they commit it. And you're gonna have somebody who's loyal, you know, who's loyal to you, who's down for you. You know, but um it's gonna take some time. So this is a marathon. With a Virgo man, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint, you know what I'm saying? It's not a dash, it's a marathon. And he just has to see. Uh, another thing is that um he want to know how you really feel about him. And this going back to trust. And this only going to come over time. You know, because he has to know that, okay, how does she really feel about me? And all I can know is she walking with me, talking with me, and we going through some things together. You know, that's the only we know. I, I, I've been with girls who they thought they wanted to be me. And I, 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 wanted, I wanted to see. But come to, come to find out they were just infatuated with me you know so they just wanted a man who was in leadership and you know what i'm saying just like some men use women for eye candy they wanted to do the same thing so they wanted to do for the fact that oh i got a boyfriend he's in ministry you know what i'm saying and, and you know i got a praying man this and that you know I, I know things like this you know just like some men be like oh i got a woman she's thick she got a big booty you know what i'm saying she you know she fine i can show her off women y'all know when guys want to do that versus them yeah it's okay you find me attractive but do you really find me attractive on the inside? Are you attracted to who I am? You know, at Virgo men, they, the, the beauty about them, about this commitment thing, they want to take that time because the joy 
of loving you is getting to know you, right? And I found personally that this aggravates women. Women, I, I, I some women. I'm gonna say some women. I don't like to be absolutes. But in my experience, I've dated a lot of women who, when I've taken my time with them, you know, um, trying to get, I let them know, like, look, I'm taking my time. I really want to get to know you for in, in, inside and out, and uh, you know, let's build. It was too slow for them. They because I wasn't trying to like have sex with them and this and that. They they was offended. You know, I had I, y'all heard me say before. Forgive me for the noise. Uh, women have called me gay and everything. Like I'm like yo. So you know, I'm not, and I'm not trying to be Mister Good Guy or nothing like that. You know, I'm I'm not trying to be better than any other guy here. I'm just like this is personally what I want to do. You know, this this is how I want to build this relationship. You know, I don't want to do that. I just want to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to know I want to be with you because I know long term this relationship has to be a bit on trust, love, support, and understanding. You know, and if, if, I, if I got you right there, then I got you. If you got me right there, then you got me. All this other stuff is going to fade. You know, because I've been, I know what true love is. You know, I know I experienced it several times. I know what it is. I know what it takes to sustain a long a long term relationship. Most of my relationships I've ever had, well, most of my relationships, period, have been no less than like two years. Most of them been between like five and seven years, no lie, you know? And so I know what it takes to sustain a long-term relationship. Yes, I failed plenty times, you know, but I know what it is and I'm not gonna commit to anything. The Virgo's not gonna commit to anything. So you have to show yourself worthy of them because they just not gonna do it, you know? And so he has to see what you're about. He has to see all these things. But I know a lot of people say they got commitment issues, but these issues are the things that I'm outlining. It's just that they very serious about commitment. They look at it as sacred. You know, um, another thing is that he wants to know is, are you somebody he can have children with and build a family with? Yes, there's a lot of fine women out there. There's a lot of fine, y'all hear me say all the time, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. There's beautiful black women everywhere. And I mean everywhere, you know, they falling out the trees, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, but um, can I build with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't mean just because you find her beautiful. And I appreciate, you know, you being beautiful and this and that. I, like, sister, you look good. You know what I'm saying? And keep it moving. You know, but you can't build with everybody. You know? So he has to know, can I build with you? Can we have kids together? Can we raise those children? Can we have a loving home? Can you be a wife? You know? And he he's going to find that out through interaction, through just being with you. You know? He has, he, he's going to notice. Uh, and that's and if you already got kids, that's okay. You know, he still, he still has to see how you how do you interact with your kids that you have you know what type of mother are you these things are important i've seen some mothers out here that you know not so good mothers you know what i'm saying but i see i'll see some mothers who are extremely great mothers they don't put nobody before their children and that's and that's and that's great you know yes and that's great so i got a lot of cutting in and cutting out y'all i'm trying to uh minimize the sound stuff out here but anyway but yeah that's great so but he want to know can can y'all build together you know and the reason why, because a Virgo man takes having a child extremely, extremely serious. Like, that's his offspring. That's his legacy. That's the next generation. You know, when I say this is this may be the one of the most serious things to him is the woman who bears his child. I mean, it's, it's like it's, it's very serious. And he's not going to have no child with just anybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, mistakes happen, and you can say, you know, but... um. He just take it serious. I know I take it. I don't have no kids and nothing like that, but I know I take it serious. Like, I look forward to the day when I have a son or a daughter, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to be, like, the greatest day. I've dreamed about this, like, all my life, you know, really, for real. You know, because it's legacy, and we big on family. So, Virgo Man was big on family, and he's looking for a woman who can be that, who they can he can have children with, who can raise his children, who can she be a mother, she can teach them, those children, you know. So, what type of woman are you? Because the mothers are the first teachers, and so... If you're not up to par as a woman, those kids are not gonna be up to par. I don't care how good of a man he is, he could be a millionaire, you know. But the child takes first to his mother because she's the one bearing that child from she the child has a different type of connection to the mother, just scientifically, just biologically, you know, because she he that child's connected, you know, through the umbilical cord, through the womb. It's just different. And it, it's just facts, you know. And so he knows it. So you know that mother has to be up to par. Now you don't have to be no superwoman or nothing like that. But I'm just saying you have to be uh, you have to be up to par because he looking at these things. I know I've I've, I've, I've dated women, you know, and I, I, we talked we had talks about childbearing, and, and I'm like, okay, you know, I just want to know 
she open to things like I like are you open to have like a doula or like home at home birth or you know just different things you know I mean it's it's it's, it's her body and this and that but as a couple you know what I'm saying we we got, we got to talk about these things what we want best for our child. Cause Virgo you just that sacred you gotta understand Virgo you you having a child like the second coming of Christ or something like you know Mother Mary baby Jesus whatever for real you know to him is you can't tell him that he ain't bringing. You know, the son of God into this world. I'm just, I'm trying to break it down for y'all. That's how serious it is. That's why I spent a little time on this. So, um, you got to be a woman that's smart, intelligent, you know, wholesome, um, spiritually together. You know, you got to have, you got to have this. You know, you have to be that. He has to know because he can't have a child with you if you're not these things because this thing goes bleed off. You know, what if, like, we together, we break up or something? Or, you know, are you going to feed this child bad things about me? You know, because sometimes things don't work out, you know, for whatever reason. You know, I'm not putting fault on nobody, but can we co-parent and still maintain our distance or whatever? Because I, I don't know, I've been, I have been in this situation, but I think about these things. You know, is it possible? You know, and so he think about that. And, and so you got to be a woman who can be able to be a, a, a great mother, you know, because that, that child going to be a reflection. He's going to be a great father. And the last thing before the video gets too long is... um. Uh, his mission in life. Okay, yeah, I talked about this in my last video. His mission in life. Reason why it takes a long time to commit, uh, because his mission in life comes first, right? You are not the first priority in his life. I know that sounds bad. Cause I know women are like, oh, I'm the prize and this and that. And you are the prize. You are a wonderful prize. You are a wonderful gift. But you're still not the first priority in his life because a woman can't make a man happy before he's able to make himself happy. If she does, she will only be a crutch. And he will he will begin to lean on her too much for happiness, for everything. He shouldn't lean on her for happiness. She should be an additional happiness. Yes, he can come to her, you know, sometimes for the baby. I, I need you to make me happy. I need you to be here for me, you know. But as a source, as a primary source of happiness, she cannot be that, and you and he should not be that for you, you know. His happiness should be with him and with God. Y'all feel what I'm saying? I don't want to start preaching, you know. But so. His mission in life, that's what, as a man, especially Virgo man, this is what fulfills him. This is what pushes him along. This is what get him, gets him out of bed. His mission, so because men are conquerors. We, but by nature, we are conquerors. We are go-getters. We are builders, you know. And if we're not building, we're not working, we're not growing, we're not happy. And so this woman is not going to make us happy. So Virgo men, they have to be stable first. Not all the way, but some form of where they know they got it. If all else fails, I got it on my own. Broken men don't want to depend on a woman. Most don't. You know, most I know there's some out there. Don't get me wrong, but I've dated women before, and she tried to she tried to do everything for me. You know, and I I'll, although I appreciated her efforts, and I know she really came from the heart because she just wanted to make me happy. I had to sit her down and say, let's say, look, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm a man. You know, what I'm saying you don't have to um, you don't have to do this. But yeah, I was like, baby, you ain't got to do this, man. And look, I'm, I said, look, I appreciate, it, but I'm a man. You know, let me let me get it because. Um, there's no substitute. I, I want to know if I can get it on my own, but I, I do appreciate your assistance. So, ladies, you don't need to take care of a man. You don't. You don't need to take care of a man. You know. Now, of course, there are times where he may fall on hard times, and you help out. That's cool. You know. But what I'm saying is completely out the gate. The girl, she wanted, she wanted to do that for me. She tried to, she tried to like just take care of me. I'm like, you don't have to do all. She was trying to. I don't want to, you know, put it out there like that. But it, it was a lot of stuff unnecessary. I had to tell her. I like, yo, if I was somebody else. I would have took advantage of you. You know, I would have I would have got you for all you had and did. You know, but I wasn't raised like that. You know, something man, I gave it on my own, you know, but I appreciate you. When I need your help, I'm gonna ask. And I, that, and that's what I did. She felt some type of way, but I said, I don't need I don't need you to replace me, you know, replace my manhood. You can assist, because one she's supposed to be a help. And I know she and I like I said, I knew she naturally wanted to do that, but you know, my mission came first and she she had to take a back seat sometimes because I spent I spent massive amounts. Y'all know I'm in ministry, you know what I'm saying? I preach and stuff like that. So I spent massive amount of time, massive amounts of time, you know, meditating, praying, um, being with the family, being with people out in the streets. Y'all know I'm a social justice type of preacher, so I be out here doing conferences and stuff like that. So I have to be in the right mindset, and so that comes first. That's always been me. And for him, whatever it is for him, that's gonna come first, and you have to assist him in that. You know, just take, just take a back seat to it, you know, and he'll love you for that because he'll know that you understand him. He'll know that you you understand his mission, where he's going. You know, and last thing I'm going to say before I cut the video off, 
Um, y'all hear me say this before. Joshua, um, what's the, the boxer name? Joshua somebody. You know, he's, he's a heavyweight champion out of U the UK. And they was asking him on an interview about his love life. You know, and he was like, yo, whatever woman comes into my life, she's going to have to take a back seat. Because she, I've been doing this all my life. She can't to come she can't expect to come in my life after three four months and just have me make her a priority over my family over my mission over my career and expect those things to happen she's gonna have to walk with me she's gonna have to walk in stride with me if not she can't be with me because this is how i make my money and, and whatever woman i get gonna have to understand that or i'm just gonna stay thinking he's not a virgo i don't think but um y'all get the gist of it when a man is busy working you gotta understand that ladies not, not saying he's gonna neglect you you know but you know, it, 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 that's what it takes. And most Virgo men are like this. So a lot of times when you feel neglected or ghosted or, you know, like he not paying attention, he's, he is paying attention. He's just busy doing what he do. Because Virgo men are extremely busy. And the thing comes first, they have to work this out. And don't nag him about it. If you got an issue with it, talk to him. Like, baby, look, you, I feel neglected. I feel, you know, I don't get no time. What's going on? And he'll tell you. And y'all will begin to work it out together. You know, he'll begin to adjust what he does to make you happy. You know, so yeah. So keep that in mind. These just a few things about Virgo men and commitment. Uh, I know if you don't got up to 20 something minutes. But anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, and also, you need a private session. Click the link in the chat or in the description box. And um, sorry for the sound and the noise. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Jay Whitfield Inspired. We'll holla.